Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net. We were at Valve's booth at GDC 2015. We just checked out a really cool VR demo. Yeah. And I'm joined by Dana Nicholson from HTC, who mm -hmm. uh, are developing the hardware solution of the head-mounted display right. for that demo. So w what is the name of it, and what can you tell me about it at a top level? Well, the HTC Vive we're announcing this week. It's, uh, we're announcing the dev kit, and we're giving demos today. Uh, we're, we're, the, the news we have is we're, we're committed to the product, and we're bringing it to market in the fall. It'll be the first real commercially available PC-based uh, VR system. It is, I don't know, it, as you've seen, it, it's high performance, high immersion. You get the full in your gut feeling of presence. Yeah, it's 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 a bit disorienting after using it as a new user, obviously. I'm sure you get used to this. But as a new user, I walked away feeling like I still had a screen in front of my face. But it was extremely immersive. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a lot of presence, as, as we call it in VR. And the, the depth in terms of my own depth perception, using it, moving my arms around, it yeah, was unique. Yeah, it's definitely it's sort of the full room scale experience is what we're trying to demo today. I mean, there's a couple demos where there's you know, some crouching and some close inspection, uh, as well as sort of marveling at the at the atmosphere. I mean, I think there's, in these demos, it's great to see, like it's, you know, you might notice there's no shooting games in these games, but I think that shows the promise of the platform is that even some of these simple things like fishing and some real easy analogs, once they're so immersive and they're so real, some of these even easy things are, or they, they don't seem as, there's no explosions, but yet they are riveting and they're, they, they're so real. It's a great, great demo of, of really the platform and the promise. And I think, speaking to that end, the, there was a painting demo yeah. where I was given, uh, effectively used the two controllers mm -hmm. as paintbrushes and as a palette. And a palette, yeah. yeah. And uh, like you said, no explosions, no craziness, <laughs> but actually very fun yeah. and cool. Um, so ha we, sh we should clarify, I guess, for the viewers, this is a full room experience. Right. And how does it, how does it interpret my location as a user? Great. Well, the, yeah, the real secret sauce there is, of course, the, there's all the overall latencies, there's the low persistence displays, and the, and the optics is one thing. But the real magic sauce of the room scale is the, the laser lighthouse system that Valve's developed. So with these lighthouse beacons, they're doing uh, XY laser pulses, and we have um, uh, light, light sensors all over, the, all over the mask and all over the controllers. So these are the basis for all of the really precision movements. Um, what's great about it, it's actually scalable. So you could have 20 or 30 peripherals in the room. They're all tracked on the same system, and it's really scalable. I mean, I love the promise of that. You can have your, your guitar and your sword and everything else, and you don't have to unplug anything, which is great. Uh, so it's a really scalable solution. And as you can see, the, the detail of the movement is really there. Um, and so we're excited. In these demos today, it's everyone's standing up. There's no sitting down. It's, it's walking around and touching things. And we, we love, the, love the big room, room scale experience, and I think you know, these games are really going to exploit that in, in a new way. I mean, a lot of the games we see already are sort of in a cockpit or something else. Yeah. And so I think this, is, this brings a whole new opportunity for developers, and we're excited to see what people will do. Do you have a target release timeline or price yet? Yeah, well, we're committing to the developer community. That we're saying the develop, dev kits are, are out now. They'll be ready to uh, distribute in the coming months, and we're committed to end of the year for a commercial product. So we're hoping to hit Christmas and get these in, in consumers' hands and, and have real consumer VR ready to go. And so, so this is the HTC Vive. HTC Vive. And it's part of Valve's VR solution, which we've posted about previously. Uh, Lighthouse is a part of that. If you've heard the term Lighthouse this week, it is referring to the VR solution involving the HTC Vive. So that's the full, uh, full disclaimer from actual HTC developers, designers. Check the link in the description below for full details and coverage of this, uh, this very cool VR solution. And You'll see my impressions there. And we'll have unfolding news as we get closer to commercialization with uh, the commercial product announcement, some of the final designs, and, and as we get closer to uh, the consumer product, I think there'll be a continuing uh, storyline here about Steam VR and getting ready. Very cool. Looking forward to following it. And we will see you all next time.